Hello V2O fans, I'm going to show you how to make your own face mask. Right, okay before you start sewing, pre-wash all fabrics and you can wash it again prior to wearing it. Uh, to save time I've cut out all the shapes so I'm going to put a link at the end to show you the pattern which is available from craftpassion.com. You can see on there. Make sure you measure that is two inches when you print the pattern off, otherwise your pattern size is going to be wrong. Okay, um, I use 100% cotton on both layers with a melt blown non woven cloth filter in between. Okay, this, um, this mask can be washed at the recommended 60 degrees Celsius and ironed. And you can get this from Amazon, eBay, fabric shops. To Okay, I've got my right size together pattern for the mask. So I'm going to put those together and then it needs to be sandwiched between the filter. Okay, so put it all together. Okay, so I've got four pieces of material and I'm going to sew the top point a quarter inch seam. I only do this as a hobby. I'm not a uh, sewing machinist or anything. Okay, I clip around just to get rid of some excess bulk. So if I can make these masks, anybody can, trust me. Right, then this is the inside filter. So you want your right sides together This bit goes against your face. And this needs to be smaller because it's inside. So go about a half an inch. Okay, again, just clip that bulk out. Okay, then this one you turn inside out, so you've got a nice seam, and it goes in. The centre seams match up together like so, and then this goes inside. And sew it again with a quarter inch seam. Making sure you've got all your layers still. That's it. Same again, this side. As it goes around that corner, just look a little bit up there. Make sure it's all... stitch together at the top. Same at the bottom. Centre seam from the bottom one to the centre seam with the top one. Put them all together like so.
repeat down the other side. Make sure they're all in the line. And off you go. Again. Okay, now then, you have to turn it all inside out. So your outside of the mask and your filter together and hold the inside layer and just push it all through. Push the nose up and you've got your bolt. And you've got a basic mask shape. Okay, you can press it before you do this next bit so it's all nice and neat seams. But for the quickness of the video, I'm just going to crack on with adding the elastic. So, oh, that's not it. There it is. Eight centimetres of elastic. And you want it to go near the top. So, make sure your elastic's held in there. Keep going over that because you don't want it pinging off. Okay, so that's one side. Do the same on the other side. Tuck it all in. There we go. Take the elastic round, making sure it stays level. And pop it in the top there. And repeat. Making sure you've got your ends tucked in. And there you have it. So when it's ironed, all your seams will be nice and flat like that. And there is the unironed, oh, unironed one. Okay, have fun.